What's going on, traders out there in Trader Land? My name's DS7 here at Groth Trade. Anyway, it's weekend edition. Get to Sunday, June 24th, 2018. And it's great to have you be a part of this. The markets in the week mixed. We have everybody um, just all over the place. Spider and Dow, positive. Everybody else in the major indices in negative territory, including financials and the U.S. dollar. Crude oil up a staggering 5.3%. Gold, silver higher. Silver higher by almost a full percent. VIX decreasing uh, by nearly 6%. And But we are now creeped higher. And But at this moment, we are down under 14 Bitcoin down a big 10% and GBTC is down nearly 6 Taking a look here at the markets, we're going to be looking at a lot of stocks, a lot of stocks. And for you guys that said, hey, um, we like Grog Girl, I let her know. She read all your comments. <laughs> anyway, so Grog Girl, she's not in the office today, but... Maybe we'll do something where we can incorporate her more. And the most of you guys like my speed, like the commentary. There's a couple of you that says, no, chit chat, just get to it. That's fine, whatever. <laughs> it's my podcast. I'll do what I want. <laughs> so anyway, um, I did get kind of a litmus test from you all. And it sounds like most of you who do follow me says, hey, you like the behind the scenes. You like the chit chat. You like the show part of it. So that's cool. I like I appreciate that. But let's get going here. Let's get going here. Um, Spider, we yesterday put a sell on it. Today we did end up in bullish territory, but it was bearish for the day. We're just in trouble here, guys. The weekly is the one I want to pay attention to. The weekly broke a big area of support. Because of that, I'm going to put a sell on it. Now, guys, you know this. But not everybody does. I put buy and sell signals for the public to see. And I'm just dumb enough to do it. <laughs> and here's what we got going. So you're going to see public calls here. Good and bad, you'll see them all. So that's what these are. That is problematic. If I go here... Um, oh, we were looking at a different chart. What was that? Anyway, we'll have to go back to that. But the weekly on the S&P Spider, see how it dropped there? So that is going to drop. If we go here to the diamonds, put a sell on it. It did pop up here. I mean, it had an eight-day sell-off here. Eight days. So it bounced up, and it's the worst drop we've seen in the Dow since March. And if you look here at the weekly, the weekly is also whoops, is also going to get a sell. See how we broke down there? So that's in trouble. Let's go to the NASDAQ. NASDAQ, we put a sell on yesterday, dropped a little bit, but it looks like a double top to me. And if you look here at the weekly, I'm not ready to put a sell on that one yet, but it's close. Small caps. Put a sell on Russell's 2000 yesterday, today we did drop the weekly. Even though I have a shooting star, I'm not ready to put a sell on it, not yet. Financials, put a sell on it yesterday. We gapped up on Friday, but we sold off. So I'm okay with my sell. And here is, oh, that was the sell. We were looking at financials earlier. So we already put the sell on that. U.S. dollars go there. U.S. dollar yesterday put a sell on that one. And today we did drop. I'm not ready to put a sell on this yet. Oh, or am I? Do I want to put a sell on the U.S. dollar weekly? I may do that. Can you guys hear the lawnmower outside? <laughs> I think I'm going to put a sell on it. Ah oh, man, no, I'm not going to. I just, I want to, but I, it's hard. Okay, whoa, check this out. Uh, crude oil. So we got to close above a key moving average yesterday. So put a buy on that and today, boom, and close to the day's high. 
the weekly now that we closed out check this out we get to this is i'm doing this friday right after the market is closed nice pop there let's go check out gold gold's down 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 on the weekly yesterday put a buy on it and it did pop today but it may be a self you know in short fashion silver Ooh, silver gets a buy today let's put that on so the daily gets a buy Ugh, the weekly almost got a sell but we closed higher today help this if i'm telling you today was huge if we dropped lower today we would have broke support here and we broke support on the weekly silver was in dire trouble we had to pop today and it did vix fear indicator yesterday put a buy on it because it popped up quite high we got up near 15 at one point over 15 has simmered down a bit and the weekly though check this out weekly is going to get a buy so there's my buy on the weekly i think the markets are in trouble guys bitcoin bitcoin for the crypto people holy smokes look at this drop went up 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 hit resistance and then crashed and burned crash and burned so there's the sell on there gbtc I already had a sell on that one, boom, boom, and that thing's down. But it's at a big area of support right there. Uh, ten dollars, ten cents, big area of support. Let's see if it'll hold. Let's get into some stocks of interest. Let's go. We'll start with the Dow 30. We'll start with Apple. Just before we do, if you uh, want to hang with us in Las Vegas, we're going to be in Las Vegas for three days. Forget about the education. You can find plenty of that on the interweb. This is about having a mentor holding you accountable to your trades, guiding you in the right direction. That's what our mentorship's all about. We're going to be in Las Vegas in August 18th, 19th, and 20th. The only way you can do this, the only way. Now, listen, I'm buying the airline ticket. I'm buying the airline ticket up to $500, okay? It's a reimbursement for your airline ticket once you're there. But you, if you enroll in, so it's not a free class. Let me get that straight. I'm not just buying people's airline tickets. <laughs> if you enroll in our mentorship at no additional fee, meaning that I'm just going to eat the cost of your airline ticket, $500. And we're going in August, so the hotels are dirt cheap. If you stay with us at South Point, you can actually ride with us to the Grok headquarters to do our to do the training. It is a wonderful three days, guys. Only way to do that is to click this link, Trading Mentors. The only way to even get invited to this is when you click on it, we don't even give you a form to fill out. There's nothing here for you to fill out. We're, we don't care about your information at this point. Matter of fact, we, when you click the links, there's several links on here. When you click it, we start asking you questions. We don't even care about who you are until you get through all this. We actually try to kick you out, okay? So I'll get that straight. We try to kick you out, okay? Here's why. We only want superstars. We want individuals that are going to treat their trading like a business, not as a hobby. I'm on a soapbox. All of a sudden, didn't expect this. I am sick of individuals who treat their trading like a hobby. Why would you take your hard-earned money and waste it out there gambling it away? Why would you do that? Why would you take your, your, your retirement and gamble with it why would you take your cash account and 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 roll the dice it is it is your moral responsibility to treat your money with all the respect that it's due you have a more responsibility to be to handle your money wisely for you and your family. Guys, I'm telling you right now, there's a ton of you 
watching this video right here and you've been watching me for a long time and you're a gambler and I'm telling you right now I would just soon you just quit quit trading don't do it you could spend your money on other things get into real estate buy a real estate because you could just hold that one day that, that'll make you money get into buy a business uh, or or put your money and park it in the spiders if you do that, you'll be 75% of all the financial gurus out there. The reason we are so adamant about weeding people out, the reason we don't throw up a big form on our page saying, give us your information so we can sell to you, because that's not who we are. We make it hard for you to find us. We make it hard for you to get to us. We are traders first, educators second. Don't let that be lost on you and our students do extremely well oh if i would have thought about it i would have we have quotes that just came in of our students and i would have put them up here but they'd be too salesy don't want to do that but our three-day mentorship is three days we come together and that's where we start to get to know who you are. We align you in trading. We get rid of your weaknesses, and we make you a rock star. We make you what we call a rock star in the markets because we want our students doing better than everybody else out there, period. We want them doing better. Okay, I'm done. I'm off my soapbox. That was unexpected. <laughs> okay, Daily Apple, I'm going to go quickly here to earn back a like on this video okay um, Apple's dropping so um, I have a sell on that AXP had a buy uh oh we're in trouble it popped up but it's it, lo it looks bad Boeing down 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 we have a sell on that going good caterpillar going good down 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 we're at major support let's see what happens with that support I'm gonna get rid of this line will this support hold it could if it starts to bounce up I'm gonna put a buy on it Cisco Yesterday, it broke support, put a sell on it. It's in trouble. You do not want to be holding that. Chevron, put a sell on it. We're down, down, down. Today, it popped. Oh, boy. What do I want to do with this one? What do I want to do with this one? Okay. Got a sell on it right now. It's just in a triangle. I am going to stay with my sell at this moment. Disney, Disney, Disney. Have a buy on up, 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 up. It's a bull flag, guys. That, that thing looks like it's ready to go. Dow, DuPont. Oh, gets a buy. Boom, baby. Let's put a buy. No. Let's put it right there. Boom. There's our buy. So we have a sell there, a buy there. Looking good. GE. Oh, GE. I should take it off. But there it is. It bounced off sport. We were talking about support, and we got a hammer yesterday. I wanted so badly to put a buy on it. I just needed more confirmation, and there it is. Somebody said, please keep GE on the list. I may do that, but GE is looking good right now. Goldman Sachs, we're down, 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 down. I'm good with that. Home Depot gets a big, fat, red sell signal. So we've sold that. So we're in at 187, out at 197, 10 points on that. And you guys, you are using this to trade by. I only do this twice a week, Wednesdays and the weekend. And if you're looking to just make money off of this, you're doing yourself a disservice. There's so much more money than what I'm showing you here. So much more money. Intel down. Got a buy on that, and that was fine for Johnson & Johnson. J.P. Morgan's got a J.P. Morgan. I got a buy on it. Oh, man, but I, that had a bad sell. But every time it touches that trend line, it pops up. I'm going to stay with my buy right now, but that one's going against me. Coca-Cola. I got a buy on it, and I'm going to stay with my buy. We need to stay above this. That one's I'm underwater on that one. McDonald's got a buy on it. Drop. It popped up on that support, so I needed that. Needed that 3M, got a sell on it. I'm good with this, um, that. Merck, got a buy on it. It's up. But that's short-lived, guys. That I should sell that immediately. Oh, boy, that looks bad. Microsoft, got a sell on it. It dropped down. Nike. Nike. 
and I got a buy on it. Boom. And it, oh, see that one? I'm underwater on here. I need for that to bounce. Let's see if it does off this support. It's a key area. It needs to do it. PFE. PFE, we're up, up, up. We got a buy on this one. Uh, 34, 35 bucks. We're at 36. Not These big blue chip companies do not make a lot of money. Wait till we get to the. It's a different ball game on the NASDAQ stuff. Got a buy here on Proctor, and it's going higher. Fine. Travelers, got a sell on it, going down. It did pop today. Oh, da, 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 da. Do I want to put a, a buy on that? Um, oh, boy. I'm going to put a buy on it. UNH. Got a buy on it, pulled back, it's popping now. I'm good with that. UTX, got a sell on it. It popped up and it's back above the 200. I'm gonna stay with my sell on that one. Visa, it's a high base. My buy on this one is still good. Verizon, got a buy on it and it's very good. Boom, broke a major resistance, that's good. Here's our Walgreens, guys. Got a buy on that one. And I'm going to stay with my buy. Walmart. Got a buy on it. Pulled back. It finally has taken off. So this is our inverted head and shoulders, guys. And we broke. It looks like we broke the neckline today. Yep, there it is. So there's the neckline. I'm just going quick. Uh, but there's the neckline of the inverted head and shoulders. Walmart's a buy. Exxon, Exxon, Exxon had a sell on it. Now it gets a buy. So there's our buy on Exxon. Looking good. Let's get to some. Let's get to some. Tech stocks. Tech stocks. Ready did Apple AMD. Got a sell on it. Dropped. I'm good with that. Amazon got a sell on it. It's dropping. I'm good with that. Baba got a sell on it. But that could be a buy sometime. I mean, this is just a bull flag. That could get bullish. Baidu got a, it broke support. See that? Broke it. So I had to put a sell on it. And it is dropping. Priceline put a, wow, nice drop on that. So we put a sell on it yesterday. And today, big, nice drop. Cisco got a sell on it. And it's kind of dropped. Catfish. Got a buy on it. There's my bull pullback, and it is starting to run. eBay, got a sell on it, but we're at support. That could be a buy really, really quickly. Let's see what that does. Facebook, got a buy on it. I'll stay with my buy on Facebook. Google, got a sell on it. Got a sell on it, Google. Got a sell on it, but th that's going to bounce. It's going to be a buy very, very quickly. GoPro got a buy on it. Still going higher. Look, it's looking a little toppy to me there. Microsoft, we already looked at that one. MU, Micron, got a sell on it yesterday. And sure enough, a big drop today, down 4%. Netflix, down 1%. I'm not going to put a sell on it, though. I'm good with that. Even though we had a hanging man, had an evening reversal pattern and then a hanging man now it's finally starting to drop but we're still in a high base territory as long as we stay around this above 400 to 420 it's hard to be looking go short and video is off 2.4 percent yesterday it dropped we put a sell on it and today a big 2.4 drop that worked out nicely oracle oh boy oracle's gonna get a buy guys got a sell on it it's gonna be short-lived though there it is. PayPal. PayPal. Down, down, down. I was going to say, where's my buy? I certainly got a buy. We're at 73, and right now we're at 85. And do I want to sell that? Yes. We're going to take profits on PayPal. PayPal. And Red Hat down 14% today. So here we broke down. We already had a sell on it. You see this? We sold it at 170. And now it's at 142. Big, big gain on a short. Shopify. We had a buy on it, but we had to turn it around. It blew up on us. So that trade went against us, but we're short, and that's making money now. That's nice. Snap. Snap. We got a buy on it. Oh, but where's our follow through? We did not get it. Come on. 
Twitter was up. So there's our high base. Twitter is going to go higher, guys. It looks very, very good. We're in at Twitter at $30.50. We're already at $45, guys. We're at $15. I mean, it's like a 50% run from where it came from in just a matter of a couple weeks. Twitter's on fire, and it looks like it's going to go higher. Monologue time. I already did my monologue in the middle. Man, I am just get fired up about this. And you can shut the video off right now, and there's a ton of people who are going to hit dislike because... Uh, they they don't one like being talked to, and and they can hide away by doing their dislikes, and and they just want to take 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 take, without taking account of their tomorrow and taking responsibility for their monetary future. Okay, that's problematic for me. I've been trading twenty years in the markets, twenty years in the markets and still here and have survived. How many people can say that? Not very many. The point here is we've been mentoring 10 years and we didn't start mentoring just because people paid us money to do it. It was because I paid a mentor to teach me because I realized that if I'm going to learn to fly a plane, if I'm going to learn to do anything well, I needed to be coached. Somebody to hold me responsible, somebody to tweak my weaknesses, somebody to take me by the hand and guide me through the turbulent waters of the markets, okay? If you think that autodidacticism, or in other words, learning to trade by yourself is a viable means to a future of profitability or sustained or consistent profitability, you are mistaken. It doesn't happen. Studies show sobering 89%, 89%, almost, I mean, that that's almost one out of 10, right? That's right at 90%. Succeed. Only 11% of people succeed in the markets on a consistent basis. The rest of them wash out. They don't just lose money. They lose all their um they lose all their money. But the thing is, is what's interesting is there's a ton of people up money right now in the markets because, I mean, you could be a monkey throwing darts and make money in this market. When it's doing this, going straight up, I mean, it kind of reminds me of the when I was trading in 98 when I got started, 98 to 2000. I mean, plumbers were quitting their job becoming day traders, <laughs> full-time day traders. And we do have a day trading chat room. They're killing it in there. Uh, but anyway, um, anyone's making money. Wouldn't it make sense to invest some of your profits back into your education? The thing that is, oh, the thing I want to just keep railing on is the fact, and I'll get back to what I was saying just a little while ago. Because I paid a mentor to teach me is, is, I accredit that mentoring to everything I have today. If I hadn't have had that, I would have washed out years and years ago. Because of what I personally received from my mentoring and being an entrepreneur, I said, I'm going to start a business that predominantly does one thing, and that's mentoring. Because that's the fastest hack, that's the cheat, that's the shortcut to successful trading, period. So it takes somebody that has the discipline and the wherewithal to say, man, yes, if I'm going to trade, come to that fork in the road and say, you need to quit this expensive hobby or you are going to get mentored. I don't care if you do it with us or somebody else. You've got to be mentored by somebody who trades in the market, okay? Anyway, we, whoops, what happened? What did I do with my screen? <laughs> oh, boy. I am surely going to get blasted by a lot of people. But my point here isn't to, one, belittle or chastise. It's just my heart. I, I hope you understand it's just my heart. That it's just like when I we, we go to Vegas, like in August we'll be in Vegas. And you'll walk through the casinos, you'll see these magnificent resorts and and the 
the lights and activity and it's amazing and you'll see all the people sitting and gambling hey i get it go and have fun from time to time to gamble i get it but let that be far and few between when you're out there on the tables the smart the wisest people in that casino or they are not on the floor they're in the back office. They're the ones that own that place. The smart ones are the ones that stack odds in their favor. Trading is gambling unless you stack the odds in your favor. The only way to do that is to have a consistent set of rules that have been quantified, that have been tested and tried in taking all that information and consolidating it. It's about the assimilation of all that information and how that's assimilated. That's what a mentor does. The mentor assimilates it, puts it together, cuts away the fluff, and says, here's what you need to work on. We have this cool software program that we give all of our students. So when they trade, they trade, and they put in their trades, then they deliver their trades to us, and it's an algorithm that allows us to see metrics to hone in very, very quickly on their weaknesses. So it allows us to put them on a path to quicker development as a trader, to quickly sharpen their skill sets in the markets, opposed to try and trial and error after you've learned new skills. How about if you learn something, you put it to the test you let your mentors look at it and your mentors tell you what changes you need to make for your next block of trades and you will immediately see immediately see a a, 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 a success curve <laughs> go to the upside your profitability will be immediately affected it's a fun thing to do and this anyway I, how long? It's, I'm 30 minutes into this, and if you're still listening to me, you are crazy. But I got the heart of a teacher. Heart of a teacher. Anyway, I hope we can help you. I'll leave it at that. <laughs> I hope we can make you reach your full potential in the markets, help you reach your financial dreams. And if we can, great. If not... I guess that's okay too. <laughs> Take care, guys. We'll see you later. Bye.